So today we're talking ultras, ultra shoes. And this is one of the latest out. Uh, it's the 2018 Boston, but it's actually the Escalanta racing shoe. You'll remember we looked at the Escalanta before and this is the racing version. It's called Boston with this model, but other models come out. Last weekend there was the Chicago mo uh, model and Tokyo will come out uh, for the major Tokyo Marathon. So a number of the marathons will have these special but limited edition shoes. This is the Boston. It's the Escalante Racer. What's the difference? Well, the old racer had, or the old Escalante, had far more cushioning in the upper here, uh, much less structure in the heel. It had a stack height. That's the height here below the upper to the outer sole. And that stack height here was 24 millimeters. On the racer, it's 22. And not surprising then, this one is lighter. How much lighter? 31 grams. Is that important when you're running in a race? Yes, if only psychologically important to you. In many other ways, it's the same uh, shoe, same style of shoe. What do we notice in uh, outer soles? Same flexibility, very, very good flexibility in the shoe and similar to this one. But it doesn't have this padding, which although light, when it gets wet, is um, a bit of a problem. It gets uh, quite full with sweat. And this is very easy to knock over. Uh, this is a much lighter, see-through type uh, upper so there's no real place for sweat to hide in here. Zero drop, as with all ultras, A-L-T-R-A, and a very wide shoe base, allowing your foot to have a straight toe. So many of the shoes out there today have um, curves in the front here, which help to promote a bunion action on this area here. So we're looking for a natural last. In the midsole, still the Ultra Ego, A-L-T-R-A Ego, E-G-O, and that is their high energy um, uh, return midsole. However, in the racer, it's a bit firmer. And I'm pleased about that because in the the normal Escalante, the cushioning is excellent, if not too much. Remember, cushioning comes at a cost of energy. And in racing, you want to be able to feel the ground and drive against it. Because running is not about stretching your foot forward, it's about leaning into the run and driving backwards. Uh, if you want to get the rough idea, Try pushing your car forward and you'll get the feel where your feet move forward, land before your knee and drive backwards. But you need a rigid upper body and so you have to engage your core for that. Now, with a racing shoe, you want to be able to feel that ground and drive against it. But at the same time, you want the protection of some cushioning. So an excellent shoe um, for people who want to move towards a minimalist. I've said to you it's a zero drop. So there's a bit of a disadvantage for anyone that's trying to move from uh, a normal 10 or 13 millimeter drop. So you can buy these gel type inners flat and put them underneath the inner sole here, just at the back of the shoe. Make sure they don't slip. If necessary, put a, uh, a piece of double-sided tape or make a double-sided tape and you can put them in.
the back there and then just put the inner down on top and what you've done is you've put in three four mils of a rise if you're coming from 13 or more then i would suggest you put double of these in there but uh, people coming from 10 or less uh, put one in and then gradually get yourself down to zero if you want you don't have to go down to that obviously the gel will add to the weight but it will not take away from the flexibility of the shoe so our landing point is here and we're driving off by driving backwards to go forwards there it is then ultra escalante racer as opposed to the old escalante and the common escalante which of course is still on the market still available still a good shoe it's got more cushioning higher stack 24 mils 22 mils 224 grams 193 grams your choice ultra unfortunately is a, a smaller brand within the country so places to get it uh, the two run shops in the Cape, one in Bray Street and one out at Belleville. Uh, in Durban, try Durban Runner. And in uh, Johannesburg, uh, the Bluebird Shopping Centre in Corlett Drive, there's a stockist there. From me, enjoy your running.